Good evening. Welcome to the awards ceremony for grades 8 through 11 for the 2021 school year. I would like to start this evening with a small prayer. In the name of Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord and Teacher, bless us all at this school as we seek to end our year with grace you so generally, generously provide. We give thanks for the students and the faculty, the staff, and all those who have contributed to this year of nurturing and growth. We affirm all the positive moments of insight, of excitement, of learning, of accomplishment, of creativity, of laughter and sense of community. We recognize the times of struggle, of difficult work, of misunderstanding, even as failures, as we give these to you for transformation. So they can become seeds that will find fertile soil. As we head into summer, may we take this with us, the knowledge that you will keep us all in your embrace so we may rest and be restored and so we can continue in the ongoing discovery of your love. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a few things uh, before I introduce Ms. DeSantis, who will MC this evening. I just want to thank all the staff that's put the work into putting these kind of events together. I'm sure she will probably echo that. But to our students in particular, you've embraced the challenges of this year and you've risen up to meet them. And when we do these type of events, we're here to honor those that have excelled in their academics in other areas and have spent that little bit of extra time and effort and deserve recognition. So for that, I thank you as well, because it was a difficult year to do that. And despite all the challenges, we're here tonight to honor many of you. So again, I thank you. I wish you a great summer. And now for Ms. DeSantis, who will take over the evening. Good afternoon to all our students, families, and community members of Holy Cross. And welcome to this year's 2020-2021 Academic Awards presentation. This has certainly been a school year like no other, and it is with great enthusiasm that we can honor the academic accomplishments of many of our students. Before we begin today's presentation, I would like to take a moment and acknowledge that we live, learn, and play on the shared traditional territories of the Coast Salish people, including the Katsi, Semiamu, Kwantlen, and Tawasin First Nations. Today's presentation acknowledges students who have been recognized for their leadership, dedication, and academic achievements in a given subject area. I will announce the subject and grade level for each award and then announce the name of the student award winner. We will begin with our art, visual arts department. Visual arts is an elective that students can choose to take between grades eight to 12 which has students use a variety of mediums and processes to help them express their creativity. We would like to recognize the artistic achievements and congratulate the following students. In Art Education 8, Adrian Lee. In Visual Arts 9, Vianne Tran. In Art Studio 10, Lauren Alfonso. And in Art Studio 11, Cassandra Ho. Congratulations to all these students. Moving on to, instrument, to our instrumental music program, we have a number of awards in this subject area as students can branch off into different areas within music starting in grade 10. Some of these classes run outside our regular school timetable and many dedicated students come to school for 7 a.m. classes to work on their musical skills. We would like to recognize the accomplishments of the following musicians. In Instrumental Music 8, congratulations to Lauren Hounsel. In Instrumental Music 9, congratulations Ariadne Gafood. In Instrumental Music Jazz Band 10, this year's award winner is Bea Lagrasola. In Instrumental Concert Band 10, congratulations Anna Ko. 
an instrumental concert band 11. This year's award winner is Nolan Lagrasola. An instrumental music jazz band 11. Congratulations to Benno Friesen. And finally, in music composition and technology 11, congratulations goes to Madison Sumaling. Our business education program focuses on teaching innovative business practices while maintaining a focus on social justice. The courses in this program begin at the grade 10 level and we have two awards. Firstly, we would like to congratulate this year's winner in Entrepreneurship 10, Martha Escudero. And for Marketing and Promotions 11, we would like to congratulate Michaela Giffen. Our junior concert choir is known as Tonic and is made up of both grade eight and nine students and is a starting point to a student's musical journey at Holy Cross. Our senior concert choir, known as Vibe, consists of students in grade grades 10 to 12 who want to continue to improve in their mus musicianship. This year, we would like to congratulate the following singers for their achievements in our school's concert choir program. In concert choir eight, Serenity Rain Beato. In concert choir nine, Madeline Steele. In concert choir 10, Audrey Cerbolas. And in concert choir 11, Brendan Navoa. Once again, congratulations to all these students. At Holy Cross, our Christian education classes are complement complemented by our campus ministry and retreat leadership teams. All our Christian education classes look at opportunities for local and international outreach, which helps spread the foundations of our faith. This year, we would like to recognize the following students who have lived out their faith in the classroom and school community. In Christian Education 8, we would like to congratulate Julian Salvador. In Christian Education 9, congratulations goes to Jared Lapadula. In Christian Education 10, congratulations, Bea Correa. And in Christian Education 11, congratulations goes to Isabella Risi. We'll move on to our drama department now. Drama is another elective option students can choose during their grade eight to 12 years. In these classes, students get to explore, create, rehearse and refine dramatic works through collaborative and individual performance. We would like to recognize and congratulate the following Drama Award winners. In Drama 8, Rachel Graham. In Drama 9, Sophia Jamal. In Drama 10, Danica Barescu. And in Drama 11, Claresta Perwanto. Once again, congratulations to all these students. English is a compulsory course that all students take from grades eight to 12. The English curriculum is designed to offer students options when they reach their grade 10 year in order to empower students by guiding them to develop strong communication skills, establish a love for all forms of literature and fully engage as responsible citizens in a digital age. We would like to recognize the academic achievements of the following students. In English 8, Justin Garcia. In English 9, Ariana Di Liello. In Literary Studies 10, Bianca Motha. In Creative Writing 10, Alma Arguello. In Composition 10, Bea Lagrasola. And in New Media 10, 
Zoya Wager. In English Literature 11, Claire Vanceball. In English Composition 11, Nolan Lagrasola. And in Creative Writing 11, Ruel Lanting. Congratulations to all these students on their accomplishments in their respective English courses this year. Another elective option for our students at Holy Cross is the popular foods classes. This class focuses on food preparation, healthy eating and wellness. Students of course love this course because they get to eat what they prepare. We would like to recognize the achievements of the following students. In Foods 8, congratulations goes to Avery Tang. In Foods 9, congratulations, Jared Lapadula. And in Foods 11, congratulations goes to Natalia DeLugan. As our students grow and mature in an increasingly digital world, many of our students choose to take courses offered by our Information Technology Department. In these courses, students get to explore areas such as web design, computer hardware and software, coding, digital security, computer programming, and so much more. So we would like to acknowledge the following students for their outstanding accomplishments in Computer and Communications 8. Congratulations on this year's award winner, Reg Packneys. In Information and Communications Technology 9, congratulations goes to Aisha D'Souza. In Computer Studies 10, congratulations to Jeanette Walters. In Robotics 10, Congratulations goes to Jackson Exley. In Web Development 10, congratulations to Santo Nayan. And in Computer Programming 11, congratulations goes to Luke Pilak. The main goal of our mathematics department is to develop students to be confident and skilled mathematical thinkers that are able to apply their mathematical concepts to solve real world problems. This year, we would like to recognize and congratulate the following mathematicians and their achievements this school year. In Math 8, congratulations to Janelle Cruz. In Math 9, congratulations goes to Logan Donikowski. In our Math 9 Honours class, congratulations goes to this year's award winner, Aisha D'Souza. In Workplace Math 10, congratulations, Kalia Huber. In Foundations of Math and Precalculus 10, congratulations goes to Sharon Kim. In our Math 10 Honours, congratulations to Jordan Hounsel. In Workplace Math 11, congratulations goes to Evan Dunn. In Foundations of Math 11, congratulations goes to this year's award winner, Ruel Lanting. And in Pre-Calculus 11, congratulations to Gianna Delacruz. We'll move on to our Modern Languages Department. It is in our mar Modern Languages classes where students really start to earn an appreciation for communicating in a second language while using a variety of activities and methods. This year, we would like to recognize the achievements of the following students. In Core French 8, congratulations, Chloe Carnati. In Core French 9, congratulations goes to Mackenzie Ellery. 
in Core French 10. Congratulations, Lauren Alfonso. In French 11, congratulations to Nolan Lagrasola. And in introductory Spanish 11, congratulations goes to Brendan Navoa. Students take physical and health education in their grades eight to 10 years, and then get to choose if they wanna continue on with active living in their senior high school years, with the focus always being on developing and maintaining an active lifestyle and wellness. We would like to recognize the following students for their outstanding performance in the physical and health education program this year. In physical and health education eight, Mariam Chaudhry. In Physical and Health Education 9, Andre Villanueva. In Physical and Health Education 10, Josh Celso. And in Active Living 11, McKenna Gracie. Congratulations again to all these students. Our next subject area is science. Our science department puts various scientific topics into context, offering students the opportunities to apply scientific knowledge in real world applications. As students move through the science program, they are afforded a variety of course options that tailor to students' scientific strengths. We would like to congratulate the following students and their accomplishments in science this year. In Science 8, Justin Garcia. In Science 9, Uiosa Mercy Iasi. In Science 10, Jana Sonico. In Enriched Science 10, Jordan Hounsel. In AP Physics 11, Andrea Narito. In Life Sciences 11, Nolan Lagrasola. And in Chemistry 11, Brandon Wong Saputro. Once again, congratulations to all these students. Last, but certainly not least, we move on to our social studies department. Holy Cross's social studies program provides our students with content explorations as a basis for their inquiry process, analysis, and interpretation to help students investigate questions about how history impacts our modern world. We would like to acknowledge these students for their outstanding efforts in the following courses. In Social Studies 8, congratulations, Zachary Lopez. In Socials 9, congratulations go to Mackenzie Ellery. In Social Studies 10, congratulations, Lorraine Sim. And in Exploration of Social Studies 11, congratulations, Nolan Lagrasola. And finally, in Drafting 11, congratulations to Keita Fujimura. At this point of the presentation, we would like to move on to acknowledge our grade level medal award winners. These medals recognize the three students with the highest overall academic averages in each grade level. For each grade level, I will announce the names of the three students, starting with our bronze medal winners. And once again, we will begin with our grade eights. In grade eight this year, we have a tie and have two bronze medal winners. Congratulations go to Diva Justin and Kate Johnston. Our silver medal award winner is Janelle Cruz. And congratulations to our gold medal winner, 
Justin Garcia. Moving on to our grade nine academic medal winners. Congratulations to our bronze medal winner, Jordan D'Souza. Our silver medal winner, congratulations, Vianne Tran. And congratulations to our gold medal winner in grade nine, Aisha D'Souza. And now on to our grade 10 academic medal winners. We would like to congratulate our bronze medal winner, Bea Correa. Congratulations to our silver medal winner, Samantha Isidro. And congratulations goes to our gold medal winner at the grade 10 level, Jordan Hounsel. And finally, we would like to acknowledge the academic medal winners in grade 11. Congratulations to our bronze medal winner, Claire Vanspall. Our silver medal winner, congratulations, Nolan Lagrasola. And finally, congratulations goes to our gold medal winner in grade 11, Luke Pilak. As we bring this presentation to a close, we would like to congratulate all our award winners at each grade level for their academic achievements, hard work, and perseverance over the course of this school year. Students who have received a subject award or academic medal can pick up their plaques tomorrow, June 29th, when they come to the school to pick up their report cards. A reminder on June 29th, grade eights can come to school between 8.30 to 10 a.m. to pick up their report cards. Grades nine through 12 in the Alpha cohort can come between 8.30 and 10 a.m. And the grade nine through 12s in the Omega cohort can come between 10.30 and 12 p.m. I would like to take this moment to thank our students for their cooperation during an unprecedented school year. We know this school year presented some challenges, but we encourage you not to underestimate even the smallest accomplishments you have made this year. Thank you to all our parents and guardians for your support of the staff and our students and your cooperation in keeping our school safe. We would have not made it through this school year with virtually no interruptions without, your, without the support of our community. And finally, I would like to take this opportunity to say goodbye, congratulations, and a big thank you to Ms. Gallant. Ms. Gallant has been a longtime staff member here at our school and has made countless contributions to our school community through her unwavering commitment to the education of our students. She will be greatly missed and we want to wish her all the best in her retirement. We invite you to stay on as we display the names of our students from grades eight through 11, who have achieved honor roll status at each grade level. On behalf of Mr. Blesch, Mr. Cabralda and myself, we want to wish all of our students and families a restful summer vacation. Students who have received a subject award or academic medal can pick up their plaques on June 29th when they come to school to pick up their report cards. A reminder on June 29th, grade eights can come to school between 8.30 and 10 a.m. to pick up their report cards. Grades nine to 12 in the alpha cohort can also come between 8.30 and 10 a.m. And the grades nine through 12 in the omega cohort can come in to the school between 10.30 a.m. and 12 p.m. I would like to take this moment to thank our students for their cooperation during an unprecedented school year. We know this school year presented some challenges, but we encourage you not to underestimate even the smallest accomplishments you have made this year. Thank you to all our parents and guardians for your support of our staff and our students and your cooperation in keeping our school safe. We could not have made it through the school year 
with virtually no interruptions without the support of our community. And finally, I would like to take this opportunity to say goodbye, congratulations, and a big thank you to Ms. Elizabeth Gallant. Ms. Gallant has been a longtime staff member here at our school and has made countless contributions to our school community through her unwavering commitment to the education of our students. She will be greatly missed and we wanna wish her all the best on her retirement. We invite you to stay on as we display the names of our students from grades eight through 11 who have achieved honor roll status at each grade level. On behalf of Mr. Blesch, Mr. Cabralda and myself, we want to wish all our students and families a restful summer vacation.